Hi again, Orc Idea fam. Today we're gonna just look at a quick start of the Orc Idea standalone application. Up until now, we haven't had a separate video on this. We've been demonstrating a lot of stuff in Max. Uh, we've shown you how to install, I believe, the Orc Idea um, standalone, but let's walk through the basic procedure. If you're uh, new to target-based automated orchestration, or if you're not exactly feeling comfortable in the Max environment, this is a really great way to get started. The standalone app is pretty wonderful. It has some really great um, interface features and so forth. So here, I'm on Mac, uh, Mac OS, and I'm just going to open the Orc Idea application. It looks like this when you first open it. And something that I think is already set here because it's not the first time I've opened it is you have to set the database files. If you recall, there are database files that help the program deal with the analysis of the incoming audio and the output uh, sample-based orchestration audio. Those things have to be set. So if you just come down here to the settings pane and click it, you can see I've already set the database and database files but I'll show you how to do that. If you just hover over this, it tells you what each of these things are and what they do. So the first one, database, is the file that contains the features. If you just click on the three dots, you can find wherever you put your database. In this case, I just, uh, I just downloaded Tiny SOL, and all of these are the database files. I think to start, I'm just gonna choose the MFCC database which I believe I covered in an earlier video, but there are different reasons why you may use these different database files. Here's a, here's a good one to start with. So I'm just gonna click open, that one is set. And then database files, which sounds a little bit um, uh, questionably similar, these are the paths to the sound files themselves. These are gonna need to be uh, set as well. I'm gonna click the three dots. And this is where we want to choose, this is what we wanna choose now, tiny SOL. These subfolders just contain the WAV files, the samples uh, that we're going to be using to generate solutions in Orc Idea. So choose your tiny SOL folder or whichever um, database folder contains the, the audio files and just click open. That's set and now you can just click load database and you're ready to go. Okay, so let's start by adding uh, a project here. It says choose the instruments you'd like to orchestrate with. And in this case, just to quick, quickly generate something useful for you, I'm going to click on uh, the first instrument in my group and shift click the last to select all of the available instruments in the database. Then I'll click add to add them to my score. Then finally, I'll click update score. What we have in front of us in here is a kind of like maquette. It's sort of a mock-up of our space where we um, play with ideas. I'm going to start actually by clicking this pane right here, the inspector, which will allow me to look at uh, some helpful information about what I'm doing in the maquette. So on Mac here, I'm going to bring up a finder window and I'm just going to go to some audio samples. And here's the fun part. I'm just going to drag in um, an audio file and I'll just kind of dump it here somewhere at the top. Each of these will be a target. And this is the audio file, you can listen to it, but you can also orchestrate the audio file, the target. So if I just uh, if I just click on it, you can see it highlights in a certain color. I can play it back like this. Great, now if I just wanna use my default settings, when I'm ready to orchestrate it, I click the Orchestrate My Idea button and here's the solution that I have. Um, these are the instruments, the tuning, the playing styles, uh, playing modes, etc. If I want to listen to this, I just go up here where it says playback under properties here, and then I'm going to choose orchestration. It's already been chosen for me, which is kind of nice. Then I'll put my playhead somewhere over here and I'll listen again. Now you might notice it sounds great, but it's only really the opening chord here. <laughs> um, in, and if we go back to, if we choose target sample, there's more going on in the target sample. All right, we have that complete phrase. So in order to get changing notes, changing chords and notes, we have to affect the segmentation parameters. Now, if you've watched the earlier tutorial videos, you might remember that a segmentation threshold value of one or greater 
effectively gives us a static orchestration, what we call static orchestration. It's no wonder then that if I go back to orchestration, we just see one chord, the first chord orchestrated here. If I want changing dynamic orchestration, I'm gonna just click and drag down and lower this value. Maybe I'll just set it somewhere uh, around 0.5 or you know 50%. Now, you can play with these values and know that, that this and the time gate parameters affect essentially how much a new selection is made, how, how um, granular the orchestration will be, how, how many um, new orchestrations this, will, this space will be broken up into. But once you change some of the parameters, you can hit this button again, and it reorchestrates it. And now you can see I have a lot of different events going on here. It's set to orchestration. Let's see what it sounds like now. So we're getting somewhat closer. Um, if you remember the time gate functions, this is essentially the number of milliseconds that each segment should be. You can increase this or decrease it at your, uh, at your own uh, peril. <laughs> but let's, let's decrease it a little bit. Let's say what happens if the segments are 77 milliseconds. I'm going to reorchestrate and hear what this sounds like. I can also, by the way, drag this around in the maquette, which is pretty nice. It's easy to rearrange things. Let's see what we have. And I might want to change some things or, or move it around. I can also, in the maquette, uh, I can add another uh, target sound. I can say, take one of my other Beethoven sounds and orchestrate that as a separate idea. Okay, so I can put this somewhere in my uh, in my mock-up, and I can lower my threshold to some uh, uh, you know value that I'll be happy with, and then I can orchestrate this one. Let's see what this is going to give us. You might say, well, that may be not exactly what I want. Let's uh, let's affect these parameters and just see what we can obtain if we lower the threshold values, reorchestrating. Ah, something more dynamic is showing up. A little bit different. I can I can basically step through and iterate through this process of changing. Uh, partial filtering and segmentation parameters until I get something that I'm more or less happy with. And when I'm ready to export, as we showed you in the last video, you can come up to File and choose Export Project as Music XML. And that gives you the thing that you can then import into your notation program of choice. Uh, you can also choose Export Project as Audio Wave. Uh, do this if what you're after is really just the resynthesis of of these samples like you've been hearing as I've been playing them back. If you just want those, or if you want both, you can export them separately. Another thing I'd like to quickly show you is, uh, where is this? Um, but maybe it's in sound, here we go. If I, if I click in this menu here, which is the, we call this thing the mixer. If I click in the mixer, I can change, for example, the reverb parameters, the level of dry sound, wet sound, master gain, uh, if I change the room size and boost the dry level and decrease the wet level. Can be pretty helpful if what you want to do next is add your own reverb and do your own mixing. Uh, and if you just need the raw samples, uh, this is your friend. Uh, so that's basically a quick overview of the uh, application, uh, the standalone app. We'll get into some more of the details, including partial filtering uh, and more advanced orchestration concepts, like, for example, what you see here, the effects chain. That's kind of a new feature uh, set in Orc Idea. Those are coming up. So um, happy orchestrating, and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.